because we had cards or did I want to talk to about these guys as characters uh, I decided to talk about them as we had cards I could talk about them as characters but I feel there's a very powerful way to abuse this hence why it's an acorn card I just can't think of it at the moment I know the old days just not to untap was how they did equipment. It's white black. The white black is life gain. So you can play around the life loss. And I feel like the until the turn thing is um very powerful. I can't quite wrap my head around why, but yeah, so you could do build if you were gonna build this deck, you would I would build it with a lot of life gain to try and counteract that and then all the cards that choose and powerful cards to choose from for the entire out of turn. That unfortunately no blue would be much better if um maybe red. I don't know but I don't know if white black is the strongest card combination for this card. You don't exile the cards, which is awesome, but you have to pay X twice. But that's not a problem. You're playing Simic, the green. Green is the king. Man of that like no one's business. So paying that double X isn't really that big of a problem. Yeah, yeah. You could have beat. If you have a ton of creatures with end of battle trigger effects and you copy them, you get them all again. It's just. It's just, it's just really nasty. It's, that should be Star Star though. It's copying all, not zero zero. I don't like that it's zero zero. Doesn't make sense to me. I guess that's why it's mythical. Some, like, I feel this is a parody of a real card, but I'm not 100% sure. I think its name would be in quotes if it was a parody. But how do you, I think, I think the head thing, like, putting two counters on for one is a good thing, but the four more legs for both those abilities would cause me way too many headaches. It is a 2-2 two, two for 2 though. 2-3 two, for 2. Even better, it's a 2-3 two, for 2. Now that's a good deal on its own. There have been... I don't know how many different expansion symbols there are, but you could easily review the history part. And... If you play with a lot of older cards, you, I could see the first ability working, like some old, older version of Dark Banishing has a lot more text than some modern versions, for example. I know it's not in the Kaya, uh, Giant Growth, Giant Growth would be an example, but then you have to be careful, you have to perfectly Lightning Bolt doesn't, hmm, hmm, the OG Lightning Bolt doesn't have any flavor text, so, you get, but you have all of magic to pick and choose your cards from, so you could easily hit both those requirements for each spell, and then choose if you cast them, or you could build your deck based around one or the other, if you were going to build this as a deck. I don't like this card. Because I suck at drawing. But if. I also, I also suck at speed drawing. On top of sucking at drawing. I suck at drawing fast. But um. If you, have, if you can draw quickly. 
this is a very good card because oh well maybe not I'd love to get those odd pieces though well maybe not I don't know what to think about this card I don't know if this card is good bad mediocre I just don't know about this card at all I can see why this is an Unfinity card. They do not like to have cards that have physical tests, which I'm willing to bet. I haven't checked out DoubleKNeville.com, but I'm willing to check that jumping is a physical test, and therefore it limits some people from doing it. But it's okay because it's an Acorn card, and Acorn cards aren't meant to be played seriously. is an interesting moving on